What is up? <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, I am sorry. Uh, today, I think what I'm going to be doing is playing the 400 Days download on The Walking Dead because I enjoyed playing the actual story mode so much. I'm going to play the 400 Days DLC that comes with it. And here it is. I hope everyone enjoys this series as much as I do, and I really hope we enjoy this 400 days as much as we enjoy the actual story. So, uh, we'll see what happens. Damn it, I told you. I already told you it wasn't me, man. Man, come on. I told you like like 20 times. I don't even I don't even know your brother! Listen to this crap anymore. Two hours. Think it'll clear up soon? What am I, a traffic man? I'm supposed to have been at the pen an hour ago. I'm gonna get written up for this. Oh, What's relax. your problem, man? It's not your fault. What the hell, man? What? You know. Cut it out. Jesus, you guys. You gonna make me? Yeah. Hey, Vince! Justin's gonna make me. It's too hot for this shit. Fitz, I'm making him hot now. You guys ever gonna quit? How else are we gonna pass the time? Hey, man. 
How about you open a fucking window? It's a prison bus, asshole. The windows hey, don't Hey, Justin, open. see right, that guy man. in the beat-up truck? Ain't right. I'll bet Shut he lives in that there. truck now. You probably got his whole house. Life's shit. I bet you dog. Dog, man? I wasn't stealing from guys like that. Better than stealing his virginity. Hey, how many times I gotta tell you? Here we go. Seriously, I was falsely accused. How old was she, 15? Damn it, it ain't like that. You telling me there wasn't a star witness waiting around in your white van? I'm shocked. Okay, you were falsely accused. Nobody's judging you here, man. Yeah, the judge took care of that. My lawyer's gonna be here. Tell about you what, this. guys. I ain't afraid to say it. I'm really right now. I'm guessing she's pretty pissed nerve, at you. Man. It's I worse than that, man. She won't talk to me. Mouth. Haven't heard her voice in months. Really messing with me, like for real. Just let it go, man. I want to, but you know, I love her, man. You should call her up when we get there. You gotta face that shit. You know, you're right, man. First call I get. Danny, I know you don't realize this because you're you, but you probably ruined that poor girl's life, you piece of shit. Big talk from white collar back there. How many lives you wrecked, kid? Who cares? Hotter than hell up in here. I'm getting dehydrated. Hey, how about some water back here? Shut I up thought you took the there. stand and cried your eyes out. I ain't telling you again. Didn't you lose your shit and tell them you didn't know what you were doing? Or I'll shut you I up. lied. Turns out I'm good at that. You lied on the stand? See, that's the kind of shit I could never do. Religious? No, man. Watch a lot of cop shows? Nope. What then? It just ain't right. Oh, give me a break. It's a tough call. Why do more time than you need to? Gotta stay clean, man. Says the criminal. You wanna know the funny thing? I don't regret any of it. I carried my victims for years. They knew what they were getting into. And now here I am, and there they are. And Wall Street assholes pulling the same scores are smiling on TV. Fuck that. How did it all work, anyway? It was like, uh... A pyramid scheme. Aren't those kind of shit? It was a really good pyramid scheme. Good shit is still shit. This was some pretty elegant shit. Fuck Wall Street. Fuck Wall Street. Fuck Wall Street. How much did you make off with anyway? Enough. So like a couple hundred K? A little over a hundred. Million. God damn, boy. Oh. When we get out of here, you, me, and Vince, we gotta go into business, know what I'm saying? You know, I don't actually know a thing about you, Vince. Maybe he's a priest. Yeah, Father Vincent. I bet he touched a kid. Two kids? You touch a couple kids, Vince? I killed some assholes. Whoa. Damn. He's not lying. Are you? And how do you know? Dead serious. Damn, man. How'd they get you? Threw the gun in the trash. And? Some stupid dog knocked the can over the next day. Kid found it and turned it in. You gotta be kidding me. Man, you're bad luck, Vince. Bad luck, Vince! <laughs> That's not bad. What do you think, Justin? What the fuck are you gonna do about it? Fuck you! Fuck me? <laughs> fuck you, motherfucker! Oh, shit! Oh, man. What the hell is going on, man? Grab tree, knock it off! I Hey, get in there, what man! Hey, let him go, man! Hey, Damn it, Crabtree! Cool. Don't make me come back He's there now! He's gonna kill him, bitch! Let the guard handle it, guys. Fuck that! We gotta get in there! You do not want to get in the middle of that shit, Danny. Bitch, you're the tough guy here. We gotta get in there, right? I'm not doing any more time to save some stupid ass. Where's your empathy, man? You can't do anything with these damn chains on! Shit! Crabtree, I'm warning you one He's last time. He's not listening, man. I've got to get in get there. Get in there and wake that shit up, on, man. man. Come on, boy. Get back there. Hey, okay, asshole. Let him go. Get in between them, goddammit. He's going to kill that boy. Crabtree? Last what warning. I said Do let something. him go, goddammit. What the fuck was that? Fuck. Jesus. What happened? What did you do, boy? God damn it, boy! Answer damn. me back there! That guy's there. still alive! Get those cuffs off him, man!
What the hell was that? He he made a move on me. I, I, I don't know. The asshole had it coming. How did he have this coming? He's uh fucking fuck. You gotta call someone, man. What? I'm calling this in. Don't. Don't call it in yet. Just just wait, okay? Just give me a damn minute. This ain't our problem, Danny. I just need a minute. I need a minute to think. You ain't got a minute. Shut up, you hear me? Just shut your mouth! Okay, okay. Calm down. Take it easy. Quit waving that thing around before you get someone else killed. Oh, you gonna get smart with me now? Vince! It's okay. Just back off. We all need to take it down a notch. You really want to pull that trigger again, son? Thanks, man. What the fuck? Did you see that? I saw it. Yeah. Hey, you gotta get us the hell out of We're here, We're not man. going anywhere! Fuck that! Get this bus moving! Hey, driver! I said Let's go, we're man! We're staying right here! We're safe inside the bus! Nothing's gonna... Holy shit! Jesus! Oh my god! Hey! Hey! You need to call someone! You hear me? We need to... Did he just bail on us? Oh, Jesus! What the hell, man? Back up, back up! Fuck! 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 He can't reach us. You sure about that? That ankle's gonna get him. Shit! What, what do you think, Vince? Come on! We gotta do something! I'm trying to think. Find a weapon. Right, man. Yeah. Where's the guard's gun? Yeah. Yeah, the gun. Good thinking, Justin. Where the fuck is it? I think he fell on it. It's underneath him. Oh, fuck me. Get the gun, man! Get up, Vince! Hurry up! Shoot this asshole, Vince! Do it! Oh! Watch it, man! Sorry. Sorry. Man, I can't believe this shit. Can you believe this shit, man? No. We gotta find some way to get out of here. What are you doing? Can't do anything until we get out of these damn chains. Maybe he's got the keys on him. Nothing. Well, shit, if the keys aren't on him, then where the hell are they? He must have left them up front. Maybe we finally caught a break. Danny, Hey, don't. buddy! What the fuck? God damn it, Danny. You always put your fucking foot in. you, man. We gotta get out of here before any more of them show up. That's not gonna hold. Vince! Fire the fucking gun! I think you just pissed them off. Yeah. Yeah, save the shells. Come on, Vince! Point. Shoot the chains, man! Whoa, whoa, watch it! Ain't gonna work. How the hell are we gonna get out There's of here? There's gotta be a way. Can't we just shoot off the chains? No way! Wouldn't cut through. What about the cuff? If we shoot one of those off, the chain will slip right out. Are you fucking insane? What do you think is gonna happen if you fire a shotgun that close to someone's foot? Well, what do you think's gonna happen if we don't get the fuck out of here? Vince, give me the gun! We gotta do this! Back off! Vince! What the fuck? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Sorry. No, 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 you can't! Vince, I have a fan. Oh! 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 Shit! Still attached. Again! Do it! 
Hey, Shell, your sister's getting pretty good, huh? Becca had a good teacher, Steph. Thank you for doing that. She needs something to focus on besides, you know, everything else. Yeah. Growing up in a world like this, what do you think that does to a kid? I don't know. I know it's changed me, well, all of us, but at this age, for her, I don't know. Becca's a good kid. These are shit times, and she's gonna go through that. But if we can keep her from experiencing some of the shit I've seen... Thanks, Stephanie. Thanks. Becca, that was great. Thanks, sis. You think we can do something like this every week? As long as it doesn't distract from keeping this place safe, that's always the priority. That was amazing, Becca. We could all use a little more music in our lives. Did I ever tell you that I used to play in a band? Yes, Roman, you've told us. She doesn't want to hear about it again. All right, all right. In that case, let's get back to work. Oh, and thanks to Boyd's hard work on the vegetable garden, we're having fresh soup tonight. Okay, let's get to it. You want to help me and Shell do the supply inspection? Cool. You check the flashlights this time. I'll look over the guns. Okay, but be careful. People's lives depend on those. We can't have them screwing up because we got lazy. Shell, when you get a sec, meet me out back. Help me feed the watchdogs. Sure thing. How we doing on ammo? Better than we thought. We haven't had to use these for a while. What did Roman want? I don't know yet. Are you gonna find out? Yeah, in a sec. You guys need help? Nah, we got this. Right, Becca? You go ahead and help Roman out back. Eesh, these knives are looking pretty ragged. Don't worry, they're on our list. Huh, still one short. We never found the other flashlight? Nope. Still in the cornfield somewhere, I guess. Did you ever find out what happened there? No. Roman said it was like this when he and Stephanie found the place. Could be anything these days, though. Still, better not to think about it.
scared me. He's hungry. Guess he knows it's feeding time. It's not an animal, Roman. Well, it's not human either. Not anymore. You know, uh, your sister said she wouldn't mind doing this. Roman, we've talked about this. Becca doesn't need to deal with this kind of thing. Listen, I know you think that giving her an easy life is what's best, but it's really not. This is far from an easy life, Roman. You know what I mean. She needs to know the sacrifices we have to make to survive in this world. As long as she knows how to protect herself, it's fine. I don't want her to stop caring about people. Okay. What's that one eating? I don't know. I'll check it out. I gotta get back out front. Looking forward to that soup. Problem. I do this all the time. You don't get all pissed off. <sighs> you just... You can't go jumping out at people. Not anymore. It's not safe. But... What if I had a weapon? I could have thought you were a walker. What are you talking about? I... <sighs> Look, I... I just saw our walkers out back eating a, a puppy. A puppy? Yeah. I guess it just got to me. You know, it was... It was so little. You don't think about babies anymore, but after a while you just kind of accept this is it. Yeah. I guess you kind of forget. <laughs> right? But then, you know, there it is. You see it and you want to protect it and... And now it's gone. That sucks. Maybe if Clive dies next, we can put him out there instead. He'd make a better watchdog anyway. Becca. Shell! Becca! Something's going on outside! What is it? I don't know. Something bad. We gotta find Roman. Come here, everyone! Shit! Come on, we gotta find Roman. Let's mop them. It's okay to be there. Jesus. Largum. La My God. La Largum. What did you do? All I did was put on the blindfold and bind his wrists. Somebody else beat him up. He already had the cuts and bruises. Watchdogs caught him trying to steal supplies. Is he bitten? No. They didn't get that close. Who is he? I got no idea. I don't think he speaks English. I can't believe he just snuck in. Second break-in we've had in the last couple of weeks. Last time we couldn't catch him. And they got away with more medicine than we could afford to lose. Well, we all know what it's like trying to survive out there. He just came in here for food. Let's just give him some. Send him on his what way. What if there are more of them? He could have been scouting. That's right. He could be part of a larger group. If there were more, I think we would have seen them by now. We can't take the risk of letting him go, but why not let him stay? I guess that would be okay. We could always use more hands keeping the place secure. Boy, we don't need any more people here. And look at him. How's he he gonna... can't even speak English. This group works because we know how to communicate. Are you judging him based on race? Of course not. But come on. Well, he's not staying here. You let in a stranger, and everything starts breaking down. The last time we did that, we lost Bree. 
And then Vernon with that goddamn boat. Vernon and the boat are the reason the group fell apart. Not trusting strangers. Vernon was out for the boat the whole time. And the second they left that boat unattended, we just stole it. That's when our group fell apart. He can't stay here. I agree. Keeping him here is not an option. In his condition, he'd be a drain on our resources. Look, we all know what we're talking about here, so let's stop dancing around it. We either let this guy go and take our chances, or we kill him. Fuck you, Roman. Shell, come on. Roman's right. We need to protect ourselves first. We're letting him go. It's the only right thing to do. I'm telling you, we can't do that. But killing him? Is that really the answer? Stephanie, Boyd, you two don't think we should kill him. We know where Joyce and Clive stand on the subject. You're the swing vote here, Shell. What's it gonna be? We have to set him free. We can't. He's not even armed. We can't just kill him. This isn't in self-defense. Isn't it, though? If it means he can't come back to hurt us? That isn't the same thing. But last time... Joyce, that was a long time ago. If we kill this man, then we're giving up a part of ourselves that we can never get back. I'm not ready to let that go. Cut him free. I hope you guys know what you're doing. Oh, what Give do him got? some food, when, three or four cans, just as a gesture of good faith, and get him out of here. I don't know if you can understand a word I'm saying, but you better understand this. You came this close to death today, and if you ever, ever come near this place again, or tell anybody where we are, you wish you had died today. Do you have any fours? Nope. Do you have any sevens? Yep. I miss playing guitar for everyone. I mean, it was stupid, but fun. Why don't we do that anymore? Since the attack, there's a lot we don't do anymore. I shouldn't have let that guy go. Boyd would still be alive and everything would be the same. Boyd agreed it was the right thing to do. Anyway, Roman's obsessed with keeping this place secured now. You know that's impossible, right? Well, after last time, Roman isn't taking any chances. Then he should fix the loose board behind the storage lots. Becca, are you sneaking out again? Did anyone see you leave? No, no one saw me. You've got to stop doing that. You're going to get us both in a lot of trouble. I don't see why it's such a big deal. We had another break-in just last month. Uh, Becca, you know what it means if someone were to see you and follow you back here. No one is following me. There's no one else out there. Shell, I need to talk to you. It's open. What's going on? Hey, Becca. Hey. When you uh, get a sec, I need you to come out and talk to me. It's important. Okay. I'll be outside. You'll see me. Is this about Becca? Just come see me. What was that all about? I don't know. Probably not good, though. Stay here. It'll be just a minute. I'll fill you in when I get back.
Roman? Good, you're here. What's this all about? It's Stephanie. What happened? I caught her trying to escape. Well, so what, Roman? Ever since the incident, this hasn't been an easy place to live in. If she doesn't want to stay, let her take her chances out there. Well, A, she had most of our seeds, medicine, and ammo with her. And B, you know we can't let anyone leave who knows where we are. She screwed us, Shell. All of us. And now we're in that position again where we can't keep her here and we can't let her go. You do know why I'm telling you this, right? No. You and Boyd were the ones who fought to let that guy go. Convinced us all to take that chance. Well, we did, and it was wrong, and now Boyd is dead. We're beyond the luxury of taking chances now, and I need to know that you're with us 100%. Let's talk to her first, see if we can talk some sense into her. No. She tried to sneak out and leave us without any medicine or extra ammo. She knew that could mean the death of any one of us. If we give her a second chance, she might not try to leave so quietly. You got your gun? It's in the camper. I'll give you a few minutes to get your head together. God, what do I do, Becca? That's up to you. Whatever you say, I'll back you up. <sighs> Shell? What's wrong? Am I in trouble? It's Stephanie. She stole a bunch of supplies and tried to escape. Oh my god. What the hell did she do that for? Roman says we have to... Kill her? Yeah. Why would she do this to us? She's just scared. She made a mistake. That'll be our last mistake. Becca, Stephanie is your friend. Was my friend. Roman wants me to do it. I'm sorry. Let's just get it over with. Your gun's over there, in the drawer. You know, we don't have to do this. We can just go. What? We've survived on our own before. If we just go, we can be out of here before anyone can do anything about it. Are you crazy? Where would we go? There's nothing out there. As long as we're here, we're safe. The group will protect us. But for how long? I don't know. Longer than we'd survive out there. Besides, you know the rules. If we try to leave, Roman will hunt us down. We don't have a choice. This is who we are now. I don't want this to be who we are. Just let me do it then. No, I'll do it. You shouldn't ever have to do something like this. I just need a second. This really sucks. Yeah, it does. Shell, it's time. We gotta do this, now. Everything okay? I don't ever want to put you in danger. If that means this is what we have to become, then it is what it is. Sorry. Me too.
Okay, got one. A snake for a tongue. You're so bad at this. Would you rather have a snake for a tongue? Awful. Or lobster claws for hands? Can I control this snake, or does it have free reign? Free reign? Well... I'm thinking... Think harder. And how exactly do you think harder? Good point. I'll think about that. Snake tongue. Gross. What? How is it more gross than lobster hands? Well, for one, it's in your mouth. Hey, you asked the question, Haas. Okay, how about... Oh, never mind. I probably ought to stop bugging you with stupid hypotheticals. Oh, come on. You'd be a lot less fun. You've been a lot more fun lately. Feeling better? I guess I am. Well, you sure do look better. Well, uh, you gotta admit anything is an improvement. That came out wrong. Uh, what I mean is... I mean, uh, you were... You were, uh... You know. You know, you're not perfect either, Mr. Lobster Hands. Maybe I should spend a minute listing off your flaws. See how you like it. Me? I ain't perfect? That's right. And you're older than dirt. Look, as long as you stay off that stuff, you can have all the flaws you want. I mean it, though. After we found you, you were still so hooked on that stuff. Well, I never thought you'd make it. You ain't out of the woods yet, I know, but... Well, you've come a long way, Bonnie. And I'm proud of you. Yeah, I'm a real poster child. I could see you on a brochure. Oh, like the ones at the dentist? Before and after, with the puffy face and the yellow teeth. Just look at her now. Look, you know I ain't going nowhere, right? As long as we're together, I'll be there for you. You ain't gotta worry. You know that, right? I know. God, Leland. Thank you. Bonnie, I... Leland? Bonnie? D. Hey, honey. I found us something. What are you two up to? Just chatting. Chatting, huh? What about? Oh, uh, well, um, lobsters. Lobsters. Well, fishing. Figured it'd be worth a shot. For the food, you know. Leland, you hate fishing. That ain't totally true. And how many days you gone fishing? What? I go fishing all the time. Caught you, didn't I? I am a catch. Don't I know it. I got you a present. Oh, you shouldn't have. What'd you find? I'll tell you later. I don't mean to interrupt your chat with your uh, girlfriend, but uh, we gotta get moving. So, where'd you get the bag, Dee? Dee? Dee, did you hear me? What's in the bag, Dee? I told you, it's a surprise. Hey, Dee, when we get back to camp, would you let me borrow some of that nail polish? Sure, hon, you like this color? It's my favorite. And after today, I could use a new coat, you know? Same here. I feel like a drowned rat with these claws. Not to interrupt the girl talk here, but uh, Dee, that, that bag. Look, I found it down the road a piece, all right? Where down the road? Some place off that away. Damn it, Dee, you gotta give us more than that. Was anyone there? I don't think so. You don't think, or you don't know? Those mean the same thing, Leland. Just tell us, baby. You guys sure gang up on me a lot lately. Honey, that ain't true. Tell me one time you sided with me in the last week. The last month. All right. I can't remember one especially, but I know I have. False. This is how all our fights go, every time. Now we're standing here in the woods, soaking through, and for what? Don't you want to get to the camp before dark? I ain't the one Hush, who Hush, your stopped. voice is down. But Come you are now. the one who made me stop. Irregardless, we could just as easy carry on like this while we're walking. Oh, I have about had it with that attitude. Attitude? Hey, enough now with this. Come in on. This goddamn rain in this goddamn middle of nowhere you did place. That on purpose. You listen to me now. I have had it up I to here with listening to you. Oh, forget the both of you. I'm leaving. Don't leave, please. We can sort this out. Oh, Lord, give me strength. We'll straighten this out. We will. Right, Dee? 
We, we can solve this out. We just need to get somewhere else. Oh, now you agree with me. Bonnie, darling, I'm, I'm sorry we're... Darling! D, come on. Save it! I know what side your bread is buttered on. Yours, too. D, now's not the time. What are you saying? You know exactly what I'm saying. Well, come on now, D. No reason to pick a fight. I'm sorry. I just want to get somewhere where I can change my clothes, and then you and your girlfriend can... Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, God, run. Come on. We gotta move. What are you talking about? Oh, shit. Where are you? I don't see shit out here. Where the hell? I think I saw something over here. Where the hell? Shit. Where are you? Call out if you see him. Fuck, I keep doing the same thing. Hold on. Anything? No, I can't see a damn thing out here. Oh, Mom. 
Well, watch over me. Okay, Bonnie. Stay calm. Find a weapon. for me. Okay, Bonnie. Stay calm. Find a weapon. By the way, that's the A button, not the X button, just so everybody knows. That's why I got Bonnie. so fucked up right there. D? Oh, God! D? I I'm so sorry! Oh, God! Why? You. Why? It was dark. It's so dark. I, I couldn't see you. I, I didn't know it was you. How was I supposed to know it was you? There, there was no... I thought I saw you. You, you did this. Oh, God, you killed me. You, you killed me. Anybody see anything? I should it's never dark out here. trusted you. Just, just a junkie. Leland. <laughs> Me. I, I didn't mean to do this, Dee. I swear to God, I didn't mean to. You, you love him. I've I seen him look at you. I, I, no, God, I'm sorry. I need him. I need you both. You, bitch, Mary, you wanted him. Didn't thank you. Help the stones. Dee. I would never... I swear this has nothing to do with him. It was an accident. You fucking junkie. Spread right out. It can't be far. D. D. did you find her? Honey, I, I thought they'd got you back there. Jesus, are you shot? D. Oh, God, what happened? Oh, Jesus. Oh, Lord, Bonnie. What happened? Oh, my God, Dee. Darling, what happened to you? Your face? Her face, Bonnie. I had to. I, I thought you would... What? what do you mean, Bonnie? What was that you just said? It really was an accident, Leland. It, it really... You did this? You did this to my D? She came out of nowhere. I thought she was one of them. I, I didn't see her until she was right there. I don't... I don't believe this. I don't understand. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Leland. Bonnie. Back this way! Oh, I feel no, sick. You're going Which way? There! I'm sorry to do this to you, darling. I'll leave you here. Call out if you this see way. Him. I know it's hard, but I need you, Leland. I think I saw something over here. They went this way! What the hell are you? 
are you doing? If she's gonna die for this thing, I for damn sure ain't leaving it behind. the days of taking shortcuts. Hey, you getting up? Good. I should probably hurry. Shit, shit, shit. Dude can give me a ride. Maybe. Bang! I just killed you. You're either stupid as fuck or you think you're tough shit. Or both, I guess. I need a ride. You got a ride. You willing to work for it? I got needs. You know what I'm saying? I'm just fucking with you, man. Okay. So you have some balls on you, just standing there like that. You get killed eventually. Ain't none of my business. I won't... What's your name? Russell. So you didn't steal that bag. I don't care who you steal from, if you did. Maybe you're in a gang that likes to rob people. I don't know. Are you in a crew? You got some boys wearing hoodies I gotta worry about? Not in a gang. It's fucking racist, man. Hey, now, I ain't no racist. I just call them like I see them. Just get in the car. You're gonna get eaten out here otherwise, and I'm bored. Come on. Scoot. Ain't gonna wait forever. You take me to Statesboro? I'm trying to get to my grand's house. Fuck, she likes to party? Just get in, we'll get there. Or somewhere, eventually. Name's Nate, by the way, thanks for asking. You thirsty? Uh... Here you go. Shit, ain't it? Hell of a kick, but it takes the edge off. You'll get used to it. Actually, I think that's it for me. I'm good. All right, fine. You want to tell me about where you come from, at least? You must have been with a crew. Any tail back where you come from? Maybe drop you off, do a double back. No, uh, tail. Damn. I retract my question. There was a girl who I liked, all right. The argument's semantics, Russ. Give a pal the deets. All right. There were seven of us. I didn't have any family there or nothing. They're all at my grand's down in Statesboro. There was a dad who had a daughter about my age. One guy said he used to be a cop, but nobody really believed him. Then a teacher and his wife. The leader was this guy. Steve. Go back to the daughter. Steve was a bad dude, but everybody was with him, you know? He said seven was the magic number, so we didn't add nobody to the group. 
We found survivors. It was the same every time. He... He... Let it out, Paco. Just... We gonna kill these folks and take this stuff or what? Then bang! They'd be dead. Anyway, uh, I couldn't handle that. After weeks of it, I packed my shit up and figured I could make for Grands alone and try to find my family. I slipped out of there. I couldn't live like that. So nobody got down with the daughter then? No, they didn't. What would you give her? Strong six? Just tell me something about her. How was the rack? Give me a little something. Just a taste. Russ, I'm doing you a service here. I gotta get my beak wet. I'll put it right in here. Sure, whatever. Sure, whatever? Come on. All right, maybe someone who wasn't so near and dear to your heart then. What the fuck? Come on, scale of one to ten. What do you think? Ah, slamming before she was dropped, right? What do you think? Here, get a look. Fuck! Like a knife, right? Get off me! Maybe you got high standards. Oh, if you say five, I'm gonna flip. Tell me, Russ. Ten, okay? Ten, you psycho! Yeah, that's what Load that, bullets in the glove there. Let's look for some supplies in here. See if we can fill up while we're at it. Don't be mad. Fine, be mad. Just stop being a pussy. Alright. Oh shit! Go! Get out! Russ! Get the fuck down, man! You don't want to be there! Get to the truck! I'll cover you! You got bullets this time? Don't think about it. Just run. I'll keep his fucking head down. Good hustle. What happened to I'll cover you? Look how good you did. All right. What are we going to do? First, we're going to figure out exactly where this asshole is. Just get a quick glance. Down. See? Easy. Now we know where he is, we can fucking get him. All right. Yeah. That's the spirit. Let's push this truck for cover. Okay. It's in neutral. Just keep your head down. Shit! Just keep pushing! Shit! Push! End of the road. What now? We're gonna get around the side of the building. We gotta go from cover to cover. Seriously, this time. I'm not fucking around. Yeah, no problem. Easy as pie. Just don't get shot. If we get to that car, we'll be out of the line of fire. Here. You can cover me first. I'm not fucking around. Cover me, then I'll cover you. Or if you want to go first, that's fine too. I'll cover you. You go first. Just shoot at the window and keep that fucker's head down till I get where I'm going. Just throw me the gun, and I'll do the same. Ready? Yeah. You ready, Russ? Remember, don't stop shooting. Fire! Throw me the gun, and I'll cover you! Go!
Good job! Now what? We get over there and we should be good. Go! my life. Whatever. We got more work to do. Let's see if we can get in around back. Sneak up on this ass. Follow me. Man, what are we doing? Well, we gotta get in there. Fucker shot at us. Russell, relax, man. When this is over, we're gonna take what we can, head on down to your grams, and have a big old home-cooked meal, all right? Come on. Okay, it's clear. Keep your head down and follow me. You got it. All right. We're gonna be fucking quiet. We're gonna sneak up on this son of a bitch and take him out. You hear me? Not a fucking beep. Let's go. I see him. Check through the window. See if there's anyone else. I think I saw a guy. You monsters! Whoa, Grant! I told you not to come back here! Think you could just leave your mask at home? And now you're with this fucking spook! First off, watch the fucking racism. This is my boy. Secondly, I don't fucking know you. We were just passing by like anyone Bullshit. else. Bullshit! You came back to finish us off and take all our food! You've lost your goddamn marbles. She's dying, and now she can see your face. We've never been here, sir. Then who shot my wife? Wasn't us. You tried to kill us for no goddamn reason. If anything, we should take you out for that. Please, just get the fuck out of here. Please, leave us alone. What do you say, Russ? Should we just kill these folks and take all their stuff? Are you serious? Maybe. Why not? That's fucked up! There are real fucking monsters out there! No shit. And you're just gonna joke about the shit I seen! Fuck you, Nate! I saved your ass! You didn't do shit! Easy, Russ. I'm not hurting no one. And don't you hurt these people either. Come on! Can we still be friends? No. you shoot that guy, man? What the hell was that? I didn't mean to do it. It just happened, okay? Where the fuck were you with a warning? Me? You're putting that on me now? I didn't see the guy either. I was too worried those dudes were gonna pull guns on us. Shit! Dude, how'd they catch up to us? Who gives a shit? Just... Hurry up, Betty! Here, man. Shoot! Get him, man! Jesus. Jesus. Are 
they there or not? Come on! Fuck if I know! What's that supposed to mean? It means they could be back there, but I don't know if they are back there, okay? Here, here, I'll turn off. Feel that look on me, man. I'm not being an asshole. I'm being smart. No lights, no, uh, you know, they can't see us. Christ, I can taste blood in my mouth. I don't think it's mine. Crashing into a cow ain't gonna help anything, Oh, man. shit! I should watch out for cows! Cows! Why didn't I think of that? When's the last time you saw a cow, dude? Okay, bad example, but you could still hit something, man. Don't barf just yet, okay? Please? This road is really straight. We'll be fine. At least slow down. What? Fuck no. Did you see that one guy's eyes, man? He is fucking gorked. I don't want that guy in my life, Wyatt. Dude, you are covered in that guy's blood. I know, Wyatt. My shirt is soaked. It's like... I just... Why didn't they say anything? Did you mean to pull the trigger? I don't know. I was so keyed up, I just... Damn it. Look, Wyatt. All I know is those guys had me all... jacked up, like I was on speed or something. I was just on edge, you know? Then I was like watching that guy's brains come out of the back of his head. Sorry, man, I... Well, thanks for getting us out anyway. About time. I will punch your eyes. See? It's fine. Road straight as my dick. You think we're in the clear? We're probably fine. We don't even know where we are. Yes, we do. We're in the middle of the hills have eyes. The hills have lips. The hills have balls. Balls have eyes? The... What the fuck are you talking about? Dude, leave me alone. It's been a long night. <laughs> All right, let's Tom Cruise out of here. Really? See if there's still any sticky in the glove box. I don't see anything. Dude, it's in there. Look harder. I don't see it. What I do see is that ammo that you lost last week. Oh my god, really? But is there any weed? You know, one time I was going out with this girl, right? Abigail. You remember her? And she told me that she was five. I think loading the gun is probably more important right this second. Thanks. Okay. Weird, but okay. Shit! Holy shit, dude. Holy shit. Did you get a look? I think that was a guy. Wyatt, come on, man, say something. Was that a dude or not? What the... The fucking fog. This night is so fucked, man. I think it... I think he was alive. <laughs> Let's see if there's anything around the car. You know, anything that'll, like, tell us one way or the other. That way, we can just book. But I'm not leaving if we hit a human being, man. I'm just not. Man, don't roll it down broken. I can't see through the cracks. Look, it's fine, see? Dude, what's that on the broken side mirror? Is that the mirror from the car? can't tell from here. You think that blood on the windshield is fresh? It's part of his shirt, I think. Yeah, but plenty of dead guys have shirts on. Keep looking. What's that way out in the road? Does that blood look fresh to you? Yeah, but it's kind of dark. Yeah. Damn. Man, I'm really not seeing anything. 
Seriously, you think some piece of that guy made it into the glove box? Man, I don't know. Look, Wyatt, it was a guy. Are you sure? Yes. How sure? Pretty fucking sure. Don't fuck with Tiny Carlos, sure. Jesus. So what do we do? What do you mean, what do we do? We go out there. Go out there and what? Find the guy and help him. Who the hell are you tonight? If it's a guy. It's a guy. I saw him. Come on, man. This is stupid. We go out there, we check it out, we get moving. Both of us? I mean, I don't know. Me? I hit the fucking guy. One of us should stay here, though, in case. Okay. Well... Shit, okay. Here, we'll rock, paper, scissors for it. Fine. Okay, cool, good. This is good. We need to hurry up. You ready? Man, I can't believe I'm doing this shit. Dude, two seconds, it's over. All right, two out of three, right? Sure. One, two, three, go. Fuck! What are the chances of that? Okay. One, two, three, go. Man. Okay. All right. One, two, three, go. Ugh. I knew you'd pick rock. You always pick rock, dude. It's stupid. Son of a bitch. Careful, dude. Shoot. Can tell if a blonde or a guy or not. Thing is jacked. Should I take it? No, man. You gotta hurry up, dude. Great backpack if you can tell me if your owner was alive or not. Alright, I guess I'll just keep talking to myself out here because that makes sense. What the fuck is taking so long? Hurry up! at the end of it. Wyatt, do you see anything? Hey man, you okay? Fella? You need to answer me, man. If you're a dude, I don't want to shoot you. Please just say something, mister. Not sure if you're deaf, dead, or just an asshole, man. Man, I wish I was high right now. <sighs> oh, shit. Are you okay? Uh, sir? Can you, can you hear me? Please be okay. Okay. Uh. Ugh. Fuck it. All right, let's get your ass to the car.
We were right. There are survivors out here. Still alive? Oh, they're gonna be happy to get rescued. So how many are we talking about? Around five, I think. They left a note, so at least we know they want to be found. And I can see smoke in the distance. Probably a camp. I'm gonna try to make contact tonight. Great. Well, just be careful and use your best judgment. We're building a good community here. We want to keep it that way. Of course. <laughs> so good. I'm gonna try to talk to him. Wish me luck. Yeah, good luck. Be careful. Don't try to force him into anything. Just get as many of them as you can. You got it. Hey! Don't you- Bitch! Don't fucking move! Who the fuck are you? My name is Tavia. How did you find us? I found your note. I'm a scout for a growing settlement up north. We go out and look for survivors to rescue them. We have food, clean water, and shelter for everyone. We're offering you a chance to help us out and start over. God, this sounds too good to be true, but I think it is. Bonnie, get real. Just because you have to tell the truth all the time doesn't mean everyone else does. If I didn't trust people, I'd be dead. I know that for sure. People can care about you if you let them. Like Leland cared when he let you run off alone? That's enough, Becca. Guys, look. If I learned one thing from Danny, it's that we have to stick together and protect ourselves. What? That guy was an asshole. You should be happy he got killed before Shell and Becca joined us. Why? Don't worry about it. Yeah, screw this. We don't know what kind of people we're dealing with. The only reason I'm with you guys is because Vince saved my life. Look, we need people. Plain and simple. And you folks can decide if you want to come as a group or split up or whatever. But I don't want to be out here in the open after dark. So in a few minutes, I'm going to be getting back in my car and on my way. Hopefully, at least some of you will follow me. Shell, why are we even listening to her? She's obviously lying. Even if she's not, I think it's better to just keep on the move. Staying in one place makes you an easy target. I don't care how safe you think it is. That truck stop was a death trap. It was right off the highway, for God's sake. No way you and a bunch of sick old people were gonna defend it. I don't like this, guys. We should just walk away. I don't trust her. Of course you don't, Russell. You don't trust anyone. What will it take to convince you? I don't know. Russell, come on. Oh, come on, guys. I mean, we left those photos so that someone could find us, didn't we? Well, it could be a trap. What if they want to kill us? Thank you. Everyone out there is batshit crazy. We've all seen it. Well, we turned out all right, didn't we? You clearly outnumber me. If you wanted to overpower me, you could. Hell, I'll even go along as your hostage until you feel safe. No one is gonna hurt you. That's not a bad idea, actually. And I'll do it. Because I know when you guys see this place, you'll change your minds. Look, I know you guys are wary, and you have every right to be. You don't know me from a hole in the ground. And yeah, there are some crazy fuckers out there. All I'm here to do is make an offer. You can come with me, or you can stay here. The choice is yours. So, who wants to come with me? I'm just not sure. We've been out here for so long and seen so much bullshit. I mean, is it really worth getting our hopes up? Of course it is, Russell. Hope is all we've got left. But being smart, that's what's keeping us alive. It's a safe place for everyone. 
criminal activity isn't tolerated within our walls, period. You don't have to worry about bandits or walkers or anyone else. We look out for each other. We understand. I think we've all made up our minds. Well, I guess we have our group. What do you want to do with these? This is a good thing. I know it is. How do we know this will work out? I give you my word. Well, guys, that was a very nice episode of The Walking Dead. I'm kind of glad that I got the DLC along with it. It's actually really nice. Uh, not as good as the story was, though. I really liked that original story. But uh, that's going to be it for tonight, guys. I'm probably going to be playing Halo here in a little bit with my wife, just for a little bit. But, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys.